So, I don't know if it's 2004 again or not, but I woke up this morning and I saw Kobe in Shaq news, which, as a Laker fan, is fairly near and dear to my heart, considering the fact that I grew up watching this feud unfold before my eyes. A quick synopsis of the feud, guys. Pretty much, in 1996, the Los Angeles Lakers wanted to clear up some cap space in order to bring in the once-in-a-generation prospect Shaquille O'Neal to the team. In order to do this, they went ahead and they traded Vladi Divox to the Charlotte Hornets in return for Kobe Bryant. And that's how they attained Kobe Bryant. This cleared up cap space for the Los Angeles Lakers to sign Shaquille O'Neal, who was considered to be... I guess the best way I could explain this is he was pretty much the LeBron James of that era in the sense that he was the young, up-and-coming, unstoppable force that wanted to go to the Los Angeles Lakers in order to also grow his personal brand because, again, back then it was 1996. There was no Instagram. The best way to become a celebrity is to go to Los Angeles. So... Kobe and Shaq joined the Lakers, and under their head coach, Del Harris, they didn't really have the most success, especially because Kobe was still a young kid just out of high school who still had to work on his development. So we didn't really see much success uh, for them until three to four years later in the 2000 season when the Los Angeles Lakers brought on former Chicago Bulls head coach and Michael Jordan's ex-head coach, Phil Jackson, to the team. Phil Jackson pretty much applied the same principles that he had in the Chicago Bulls to the Los Angeles Lakers, which is the triangle offense, the same offense he tried to program into the New York Knicks about three years ago, but it really didn't work out because a lot of people consider the triangle offense to be an outdated offense now, and the Lakers would win their first three their first championship and then they would win another championship the year after but the year after that was when things uh, were starting to get a little tumultuous because Shaq would start showing up to training camp fairly overweight and he really didn't have a problem with this he actually admitted to this he liked to smoke cigars he liked to eat he didn't want to focus mainly on his career and then that's when there were some rumors of a Kobe Shaq rift but they still were able to win a third championship what happened, the problem was the year after there, I, I suppose there, if they were going for a four-peat, so they brought along Carl Malone and Gary Payton for the ride. And at this point, Shaq was visibly getting more and more overweight. This actually upset Kobe Bryant because Kobe had this insane work ethic. There are tales about his work ethic. I'm sure you could search them online, or if not, if you want me to make some videos about how crazy work um, Kobe Bryant's work ethic was, let me know in the comment section down below. But Kobe Bryant's work ethic is something that we've never seen before. And imagine being Kobe, you know, you're this player from high school, you were taken in the middle of the first round um, by the Charlotte Hornets, traded to the Los Angeles Lakers, and you were on this quest to prove doubters wrong. You were on this quest to potentially be at least as good, if not better, than Michael Jordan. And at the end of the day, your running mate, a, a player that was considered to be the most dominant player in the NBA at the time, just didn't care as much about winning championships as you did what ends up happening is is this little rift between kobe and shaq and it was a disgusting season in general kobe had to go to colorado because of some sort of unconsensual sex trial which we all know what ends up happening there he gets acquitted because the woman says that pretty much uh, admits that you know it, she could have been with a different man at that night and kobe gets off the hook and also let me know if you want me to make a video on that trial as well it's a very old trial and i feel like it's not talked about enough it could have ruined kobe's career but i'm really on the fence about making a video about kobe bryant's rape trial so let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that as well so what ends up happening is the los angeles lakers see this rift between kobe and shaq they end up losing to the detroit pistons and to be honest they lost to the detroit pistons in the nba finals because of Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant kind of shot them out of the series. They knew that Kobe was going to play hero ball and they just play really good defense on him. And what ends up happening is Shaq and Kobe eventually get to a point where they're like either trade Kobe or trade Shaq because we can't play on the same team together anymore. 
The Lakers being the Lakers say, okay, Shaq, you are like significantly older than Kobe Bryant. You have, uh, you have about six years on Kobe Bryant. Kobe's in the middle of his prime. Kobe looks like the new face of the NBA. So as a result, we're going to go ahead and trade you to the Miami Heat, which was the right move. Honestly, Shaq was in his mid thirties at the time. And it's a move that really paid off for both of them. Shaq ends up going to the Heat. Kobe gets Lamar Odom, Karan Butler, uh, Karan Butler, Brian Grant, but of course, Karan Butler gets traded after a year, and Lamar Odom becomes like a huge staple for his second two championships that he wins with Phil Jackson again in 2009 and 2010. Shaq wins one more ring with Dwayne Wade before kind of fizzling out of the NBA, and honestly, he's very lucky because if he was in the NBA today, I really don't think he'd be as successful. In today's NBA, you need to develop a jump shot and you need to be able to hit the three. Back then, when Shaq was a center, it was considered to be soft if you did that. And that's pretty much how things ended up. Shaq ends up having four rings. Kobe has five rings. They're good friends to this day until, well, I want to say they're still very good friends because I don't really think this is an actual beef. But, of course, media sources being media sources liking to overhype the crap out of everything, we have some new info on Kobe and Shaq. So earlier today, Kobe, uh, Kobe was asked how Shaq would be if he had Kobe's work ethic. Kobe ends up saying that Shaq would be the GOAT if he had Kobe Bryant's work ethic. And honestly, I think there's some truth to this because Shaq was already so dominant. Imagine if Shaq worked on his free throws, if Shaq came in shape to training camp, Shaq didn't smoke cigars and only cared about basketball. Imagine if he carried him in a similar manner that Kobe Bryant carried himself and Michael Jordan carried himself. Of course he'd be the GOAT, honestly. And this is starting to get a little taken out of context. You can listen to the interview for yourself. Who would Shaq be if he had your work ethic? He'd be the greatest of all time. If Shaq had your work ethic? He'd be the greatest of all greatest time. Greatest of all time by for sure. He, he'd be the first to tell you that, for sure. I mean, this guy was a, a force like I have never seen. I mean, it was crazy. You know, a guy at that size, generally guys at that size are a little timid and they don't want to be tall. They don't want to be big. Man, this dude was, he did not care. He was mean. He was nasty. He was competitive. He was vindictive. I mean, he was, yeah, I wish he was in the gym. I would have had 12 rings. Kobe Bryant would later on go on to tweet, don't get it confused. He was still the hashtag mde which which translates to most dominant ever so clearly kobe's starting to understand that his words are starting to take get taken out of context he also goes on to tell the story of when he told shaq i'm not gonna pass it to you just get the rebound so this is how you could tell that this is not really a beef rather it's just a nice little nostalgic look back at their relationship because of course if you're kobe and shaq at this point you're way more mature back then when you were like in your mid-20s in the height of your nba stardom you don't really see the bigger picture but now that you're older i'd say kobe's a little bit more mature i don't really think shaq is more mature especially because he's in the midst of throwing crazy crazy dubstep raves of Especially because Shaq is in the middle of a pretty nice DJing career. And honestly, I think it's the most badass midlife crisis I've ever seen of all time. But Google DJ Diesel if you've never seen this before. He's literally performing at music festivals everywhere. It's pretty cool. But without a doubt, Kobe Bryant's a little bit more mature than Shaq. Kobe Bryant would also go on to say, I would have 12 rings if Shaq just worked harder and had better work ethic. But Kobe also would go back to say hey if your lazy ass was in shape we would have won so many rings so it didn't take long for Shaq to issue his response and on Instagram he would say you would have had 12 if you passed the ball more specifically in the finals against the Pistons hashtag facts he added you don't get statues by not working hard at the so honestly like I would really like to see this Kobe and Shaq little mini feud resulting in a nice little rap battle in 2019. But at the end of the day, I really don't think this is them going at each other. I think this is just them nostalgically reminiscing about their time together and what they would have done differently and how they could have won more championships if they went about things a little differently. 
Um, Shaq has a lot of pride. Whenever someone goes at him, he's never going to admit he does. He has done something wrong. He's always going to say, I've done everything right. This is what you could have done differently. That's just the way Shaq is. Kobe is just that guy that's like really beating himself up because, hey, he could have won more championships if they did stuff a little differently. And at the end of the day, I think both of them are right. But let me know in the comment section down below. What do you guys think? Do you think it's mainly Shaq's fault for not having as much of a work ethic as Kobe? Do you think it's Kobe's fault for not passing the ball as much and being too much of an alpha dog? Let me know in the comment section because I would really like to know what you have to say. Besides that, guys, be sure to subscribe and drop a like if you're new to the channel. I'm your boy, The Flight Mike, and I'll catch you guys later.